Okay, hello everyone, welcome to another English lesson. So, what we're doing is a quick recap of what we did previously. We I have a fresh test for you to begin. Yes. Um because certain assignments I received, I don't know, it seems like people still do not get how these things are supposed to go. So, I'm going to give you just a very simple test. It's just six sentences over here. And all you're supposed to do is identify the nouns in each of the sentences. Whether proper, common, whatever they are, just as long as you spot a noun. Or something that corresponds with this definition. A noun names a person, place or thing. Just based on that definition, identify the nouns in each of these sentences. One, two, three, four, five, six. First sentence, tennis is my favorite sport. Two, Maurice and I play at the park every Saturday. Three, there are three courts. Four, each one has a net, a fence, and some lights. Five, my dad bought me a new racket. Six, I need some new shoes too. Just based on the definition above, right here. Based on this definition, I didn't find out in the sentence. Only six sentences. Just do that for me. So, let's skip that. Now, let's move on to knowing the difference between common nouns and proper nouns. It's very, very simple. We did that during the previous lesson. But I'm just doing just a, this is just a quick recap. So, a common noun names any person. Let me just highlight where I'm reading so you can all follow. She's bad, man. A common noun names any person, place, or thing. Common nouns do not begin with capital letters unless they are the first word in the sentence. If they are the first word in the sentence, the rule applies. When we did sentences, that was about three videos ago, or three lessons ago. We learned that any word that begins a sentence has to start with a capital letter. Whatever that word is. There's the name of a person, whatever it is, it has to begin with a cap capital letter. Common nouns in sentences do not begin with capital letters. Unless they're the first word in the sentence, yeah, it names anything, any person, any 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 place. Alright, so uh, ice is a common noun. Skater is a common noun. Very simple. Now, let's move on. A proper noun names a special person, a place, or thing. Proper nouns begin with capital letters. So examples are names of people, like Peggy Fleming. There's a name in the story below, but that's just the name of a person. I notice that every letter, if the first letter in Peggy, P, begins with a capital P, then Fleming, F. All right, so just proper nouns, as long as they name special people, things that have been tagged with an identity. Could be a name of a cat, a dog, whatever it is. So long as it has been tagged with a special name, it's a proper noun and it has to begin with a capital letter no matter where it is in a sentence. No matter where it is in a sentence. Common nouns do not begin with capital letters unless they are the first words in a sentence. And proper nouns begin with capital letters regardless of where they are in a sentence. Please bear that in mind. I'm just going through this quickly because we've already done this. We did this in... in I think two videos ago or three videos ago we did I did this extensively so if you've forgotten go back to that video and check if you do not understand of course you can send an email to me in the description or you can comment I will answer all right let's move on <clears throat> so we have a second test please be noting the test down because these are the ways I know that you have understood the lesson so please do them okay let's move on So, there's a story below. So, your job is circle each common noun and underline each, pro each proper noun. I started doing this one over here for you. I'm going to the first sentence. So, Peggy Fleming is a famous figure skater. Alright? That's the first sentence. Proper noun here is Peggy Fleming, name of a person. So, it's underlined. I can't check, but the common noun here is skater. Another common noun is also figure. The rest are other parts of speech, but we'll get to that. So, Peggy Fleming is a proper noun. Figure and skater are common nouns. So you circle that. That's how you're going to do this test. Right? Very simple. Very simple. So the rest of it, you're going to do it on your own. It's a very, very simple story. All this is a good test because it's how you, when you can identify what is something that is just a regular noun and then something that has a, an identity, something that has been tagged an identity, a name. Alright, let's move on. So your job is to 
uh, read the story carefully anything you do not understand note it down like as usual you can always send it to my mail if you don't understand anything or you can post down in the comment section or reply please please if you do not understand anything don't sit there and you know just accept your feet that's the reason why we're doing the lessons is so that you can catch up so please if you do not understand something reach out to me and i would you know help you out so this is a very simple story i've already done the first sentence your job is read each sentence and then underline the proper nouns and um circle the common nouns okay so let's go she was born in san jose california and began skating when she was nine years old she won many junior figure skating competitions as a child in 1964 peggy competed in the winter olympics in austria she took sixth place so i don't want to just bore you this is this is pretty much the second test take your time read do the test send it to me and let's move on from there okay so see you next time in the next video stay safe and bye